Hello, my name is Sasha Struthers. I'm an employer defense attorney here in Los Angeles. And today I thought I would do a brief video on what a PAGA claim is and what to expect if you receive notice of some claim from the LWDA. So just to get into it, PAGA is the Private Attorneys General Act and it's essentially a pseudo class action. So it allows an employee, an aggrieved employee, to act on behalf of the state's attorney general to collect civil penalties on behalf of the state. Now, these claims can often be avoided by employers. Um, and I'll link a video below, which is six easy ways to avoid wage and hour cases. And the LWDA fundamentally is a case based on you know wage and hour claims, which are typically overtime, meal and breast breaks, things of that nature, not getting paid accurately. So to begin, um, what to kind of expect from a PAGA claim? So there's three phases to this. The first phase is an employee, sometimes by themselves, usually through their attorney, will file a claim with the LWDA, which is a government branch and it's the labor and workforce development agency which again is one of the million employment agencies california state has and so the employee will file the claim through the lwda the employer then will get notice of the claim and will be given a specific amount of time to respond it's very very important that once the employer receives notice of the claim that the employer reach out to an attorney right away and the reason being all of these claims and all these agencies are heavily in favor of the employee and not the employer. And so this claim will oftentimes be overstated and you want to talk to an employer, a defense attorney like myself, to make sure that you respond accurately and on time and try to mitigate your liability as much as possible. So once you get notice of the claim, you have to respond. Oftentimes you can cure the claim right there. Depends on the claim and how big the claim is. Now, in the event that you can't cure it right away, the next phase kicks in, and that is the LWDA will make one of two decisions. Either the LWDA will investigate the claims themselves and pursue it against you, or they'll let the employee pursue the claims against you. That's where the PAGA comes in. This is when the employee will now step into the shoes of the state and then pursue these claims on behalf of the state. And the employee PAGA being a pseudo class action has one main employee acting on behalf of current and former aggrieved employees and the state to collect the penalties. So there's two people that kind of benefit from the settlement at the end. It's going to be the employee, the aggrieved employees, that's one group, and then it's going to be the state. And so this employee now is negotiating on behalf of both. So when that's the case, the employee then is pursuing these claims. Um, the third phase is what is the lawsuit. So either the employee through their attorney, more often than not, is going to file a lawsuit for PAGA, for a PAGA claim, or very, very commonly, they will amend their existing lawsuit and add PAGA to it. Now, PAGA claims have been around for a very long time, but they're gaining a lot of traction. And that's simply because the liability that comes with PAGA and the fact that now the employee's negotiating on behalf of the state incentivizes employers many times to settle much quicker. So employee attorneys, plaintiff attorneys, use this PAGA claim to harass, my using that word liberally, um, to harass employers or kind of force their hand or push them towards closer, earlier resolution of a lawsuit so that they can collect money on a lawsuit sooner rather than later. So it is very much a strategy thing. Now, once the employee acts you know, on behalf of the state and pursues this PAGA claim, the state still has to approve of any final settlement of the PAGA. So what usually happens is the employee will have other claims. Sometimes they fall under um, like harassment, discrimination, retaliation, which is yet again, another government agency, the DFEH, the Department of Fair Employment and Housing, outside the scope of this video, but another kind of case. 
that case will get filed and then the employee will often like add this PAVA claim and it becomes, you know, this like really big lawsuit to intimidate you and they'll try to settle it. And then the LWDA has to oversee the portion of that settlement because it usually gets settled globally. And they'll have to approve of that settlement that relates to the PAGA claim. And once that's approved and you have this global settlement, the case is then resolved. Um, that's a very simple overview of this PAGA case and a little bit including just lawsuits in general for employment. Now, these things tend to be a little intimidating any lawsuit is intimidating, let's be very honest. But it's always encouraged that as soon as you get notice of any claim, whether it's a letter from an employee's attorney, an actual notice of a claim or a lawsuit, you should right away contact an attorney like myself to start strategizing the case, to start figuring out what your potential liability is in the case, you know, your, your exposure, and you know, talk, have a candid conversation about how to resolve the case in the most effective manner for your business, your operations, and to try to mitigate liability going forward and repeat lawsuits. So if you want to talk to an employment attorney, my information is below. And I, again, also below is a video about, you know, six easy ways to avoid these kinds of claims. And, you know, go to my website, sign up for my newsletter, and plenty of blog posts that should be helpful and informative to you. Um, but hopefully that kind of gives you a little bit of understanding, these cases do settle like 99% of the time. It's in everyone's best interest to settle them. They are intimidating, they're not fun, but these things are not the end of the world. So again, as soon as you get notice of some sort of claim, please be proactive about it. Don't sit on it um, and reach out to an attorney. Thank you.